All right. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning to all of you wonderful people. Good morning to the saints, friends, family, associates, acquaintances, and enemies. <laughs> Good morning to you. All right. Let's get right to it. It makes some more enemies. Yeah, I, mean, I know others are saying this. I can think of, I have Facebook friends. Let me think of off the top of my head. One, two, three, four, five. Six, and I may have a few more. May have a few more. They they preach this. Hallelujah! You know the real preachers in the minority. Yeah, you know that, right? You know we're in the minority. Matter of fact, as a matter of fact, let me kill two birds with one stone. I remember years ago, they on the History Channel, they did a documentary of the church and of religion. Mm -hmm. 20 years ago. Now, this last week, a week before that, they did a documentary on the black church. And in both of those documentaries, go, go on the History Channel, you got to go back a number of years. They did a documentary on church religion. On both documentaries, absolutely nothing is said about the true church of Jesus Christ. They're born and purchased with his own blood. And the requirement for everybody. Nothing to say about that. Nothing. And that's the view of our churches. They pick with pick whichever false false house you want to go to. Pick all of them the same. That's the view. And that's the view they gave on the documentaries. Nothing. All of them the same. None of them, none of them said nothing about the true church of Jesus Christ. You even had people, you even had people, they interviewed. The church is not about no one man. Where my church was started by Bishop Mason and my church was started by uh, uh, Wigglesworth and Lawson, Bishop Lawson and G.T. Haywood and Brother So-and-So is up. But nothing was said about the two churches of Jesus Christ and the requirements to be saved. Not one representative they had on that. They didn't cover that angle. And that's the condition of the church today. All of in the world's eyes, all the all churches is the same. What the world think about church? All the same. There's a there's something to do on Sunday. There's some place to go on Sunday to go to hell. Go to church. Make you feel good about yourself. That that anyway, anyway, anyway. What leads to this? Preachers, I watch your posts. When you invite me to watch them, I watch them. Okay? All you invite me to watch your ministry, I watch it. I watch it. Okay, I watch it. I mean, I watch it right there because I'm doing something else, but I, 
I check. I go on there and see what you're talking about. That being said, and, and I'm put, and you wait. All y'all on Facebook know what I preach. I'm not the run of the mill every Jack Lee and Nickel and Dime preacher. I'm a true servant of Jesus Christ. Y'all know what I preach. And that's why on a lot of you, although I watch a video, very seldom do I hit like. I hit like you at a, at a point to where you're saying something that's true. At that point, I hit like, and he would come in, amen. But Brother Mopar, that was, so I go on the page last week and I preach it along. And then, you know, he got the PayPal and the Givelify. Number one, when you are giving, you're not giving, you ain't giving God nothing. You ain't giving God nothing. Not tell a lie say you are. You're not giving to God, get me, until you give to the poor and needy. That's when you're giving to God, when you give to the poor and needy. Hallelujah. But the, the scripture says for, for, for he that uh, lend it to the poor, give it to the poor, lend it to God. I, I know, I, I know y'all don't believe that. He that give it to the poor, lend it to God. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 17. <laughs> in the book of I didn't mean to be a by God hallelujah open your hands wide to the poor Deuteronomy chapter 15 verse 11 I'm giving you scripture Matter of fact, let's just read that. Let's just read that. You, you ain't giving God nothing. God don't receive it. The only way you give to God is when you give to the poor and you give to the needy and you give to the least of these, my little one. For I was hungry and you fed me. Naked, you clothed me. Sick or imprisoned, you visited me. And you had did it to the least of these, my little one. You did it to me. Let, 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 but let it get that Deuteronomy 15 let. Let's read that. Deuteronomy 15 and let. Hello. My God all day. What is it? The poor shall for the poor will never cease out of the land. Therefore, I command thee, saying, Thou shalt open thine hand wide unto thy brother, to the poor, and to the needy in the land. Jesus ain't give to whoever asks you. Give it, it shall be given. Men ain't gonna give your bosom. Why? Cause you gave the men. Hallelujah. Every given scripture talk about giving to the needy. Every given scripture in the Bible talk about giving to the needy. So when you give, you ain't giving nothing to God. You know when you gave to God? When when you offer your sacrifices in the Old Testament under the Old Covenant, and for the temple and all that kind of thing, God never said He gonna bless you. He gonna bless you if you pay tithe and offering. 
He didn't say he's going to bless you. He said he's going to remove the curse. You know your tithe and offering was given. How in the in Corinthians chapter number 7, read the whole chapter and tell a lie, I dare you. I dare any of you. You educated fool, you dumb dog, you son of the devil. I dare any of you. Read Hebrew chapter 7 and tell a lie, I dare you. That covenant is over. It is said, if, if, matter of fact, let me, let me tell you, let, let me, let me, let me stick a hole there, put a pin there to show you, you are Antichrist. My God, I, 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 I called me over for all the fall. Oh, I gave this scripture. My God, he, I, he repented. Let me give it to you. See whether you're going to repent or whether you're going to be Antichrist. Don't you know if you tell people God still requires your tithe and offering, don't you know you're an Antichrist? I want Hebrew chapter 7. I'm giving you the exact verse. Read the whole chapter. <clears throat> Number 12. Number 11. 7 and 11. If therefore perfection was by the Levitical priesthood, for under it the people received the law, and that's the law, great tithe and offering. What further need was there for another priest to arise after the order of Melchizedek and not after the order of Aaron? For the priesthood being changed, there is also a necessity, a change of the law. And read when no man, this, no man get with ten death off. Jesus ain't standing there in the wall to receive your tithe. Your line past the ear. Let me get to the point. What is tw this the year 2021? What is a $21 seed got to do with you want God to work miracle with you? So they people going to say, give a $21 seed. Give a $21. This 2021, give a $21 seed because we want God to work. We want God to work miracle. So give a $21 seed. What Jesus said, hallelujah, praise God, the proud faith shall save the sick. What Jesus said freely, you have received, freely give. Uh, what Peter said, uh, you, you can't buy the gift of God with money. What Jesus said, come without price. Hallelujah. You foul devil, you. So $21, because we want God to wait. Keep God out of your mess. You know that $21 going in your pocket and paying the bills of your church. Why don't you just say that? Could you help, could y'all help pay the bills of the church? Leave God out of your mess. You going to hell, preacher. Give twenty one cents this a year twenty twenty one. Give twenty one dollars. See, because for this purpose, we want God to work this year. You better repent for it ever land too late. God bless you. This have been the servant of Jesus Christ, ordained by Jesus. Your pastor ain't he ordained by his father's death. Thank you, my brother.